All right, guys, welcome in. Um, I got surprised this morning by an old timer, an old family friend. He showed up with a truckload of vintage tools. So this is some of them sitting right here. Um, a lot of cool stuff, some, some axes, um, you know, some wrenches, some files, some, some pretty cool stuff. He actually brought a welder. So when I asked him what I could do to, uh, to, to compensate him, he said, literally, just to pay it forward and to show my family some love. So that got me thinking, how am, I, how am I going to pay this forward? And I've decided I'm starting the Vintage Tool Relocation Program. So if you want to be a part of this, first off, be a subscriber. Second off, leave a comment saying that you want to be a part of this. So it's basically a giveaway. I got gifted a bunch of tools, and I'm going to pick one of my vintage tools uh, to gift to a subscriber. So I'll let you in on a secret. It's, it's going to be an ax. Um, and then if, if you can, you pay it forward. You know, if you've got extras of something, you know, give it away. Um, some people have a lot of inches tools. Some people don't have very many vintage tools. So I understand if you can't do that. Um, but you know what? Let's, let's see if we can get it going. So I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that, that I got today. Um, I'm excited about it. And then, then I'll show you what I'm going to be gifting to one of you guys. All right, so starting off, one of the things that I'm really excited about is this uh, Stanley uh, three pound single jack. It's just a little tiny guy, but it's got some great patina and it's in pretty good shape. And I like that, that uh, octagon shape to these old, old heads. So I'm excited about that. That's going to get a new handle. Um, oh, if anybody knows Dave uh, Omen, Dave Omen, I have your uh, three pound sledgehammer. So if you're looking for this, Dave, let me know. I've got it. I'll, I'll ship it to you. Uh, I did, not that it's vintage tools, but there's a lot of information about vintage tools in here. So Foxfire, I think these are from about 1975, 76. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting at, at the first glance. glance. So that's uh, Elliot Wigington. And, and there's a, I don't know, a series of seven of them. And it's, it's, it's about, you know, this kind of stuff and using this kind of stuff. So moving on. I've got a pretty good condition, um, what I believe to be a true temper wood slasher. So if you ever come across any of these red ax heads and they have the ribs in the middle, and then you can see on one side, it'll have a number, it'll have a letter and a number. So generally that's, that's a wood slasher that the, the foil label peeled off. So I got another true temper, um, genuine underhill so i've never seen that very interesting profile roofing hatchet uh, i'm not real big on these but this one's in pretty good shape and i've never seen one so i think i'll be keeping that <clears throat> some auto kit number 100s so that's a pretty unique uh, combination wrench so you got the box in three quarter and the open in seven eighths two of them interesting that was pretty nice i'd have to say my number one that i'm excited about out of this is the stanley number 61. so it's got a little little nail right there and you can adjust and use this as a as a marking device maybe not a scribe but if you have a board it'll scrape a little line in it very excited about this i'll be using this for finding the center of a board for uh, when I make an axe handles out of one by material. And of course you can't beat the old, old egg beaters. Uh, this one looks 
looks old but i'm not seeing any maker's marks on it so it might be kind of like a reproduction i don't know maybe from the 80s or something hard to say but in any case uh, it's in good shape and i think it could be used i do have a special place in my heart for these little three pound splitting malls i don't know why i like them so i got another one and then this one I happen to have two boys and now I have two three pounders. So you know what that means. Um, ooh, this is, this is just a sad sight. This right here is terrible. Um, it's a Collins and co Hanford cast steel warranted ax head. Looks like a Connecticut pattern that somebody just a use the crap out of this thing they look must use it as a wedge that's just terrible this is early 1900s late 1800s um and all in all it's actually in pretty good shape as far as the pitting and the bit goes um but they just hammered on this thing bastards um i'm digging this the actual has an axe handle eye on a split mall six pounder doesn't say Collins. I'm not sure if Collins made this, but this thing's in great shape. So I'll be keeping that for sure. Yeah, man, just a bunch of, bunch of just good old fashioned rusty gold. I'm not sure the country that manufactured this piece, but uh, 1965, it's always nice to have something with a date on it. Oh, that's a pretty neat piece. Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, so moving on. Got a couple of uh, chainsaw file guides. That'll be good for the Alaskan when you're trying to get that real, uh, that real tight degree, you know, shooting for a five degree or so. That's nice. Couple not so vintage um, hammers, but some, some decent stuff. Um, oh, that's a, an older craftsman that's in really good shape. So, that's a nice little piece. Now, if anybody knows exactly what this is, I'm curious. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what this is exactly. I, I'm assuming it's some sort of a crimp for crimping... Uh, like the lead onto a cable if you're doing cable repairs but that's just an assumption so I'm gonna have to do some research and some digging to find out exactly what that is uh, pretty good little set of auger bits and have a, a fantastic example of what not to do with an axe um, so I, did, I pity the, the person that was swinging this thing and got the shock uh, once this impacted the log that just sends that shock all the way through the handle when you're holding it just tight. And man, that hurts, right? So I don't know. Maybe a beaver got a hold of this. I don't know what the hell happened to this. But uh, that's honestly, that's pretty impressive that this head didn't just snap off of this with that much torture um so honest come to think about it maybe something did get a hold of that and chew on it that's hard to say i don't know um master mechanic it's not one of the old master mechanics but it's it's in pretty good shape it's actually in really good shape pole's got a little bit of mushroom but uh yeah that'll be a good user that'll be a real good user um this is a pretty old piece, older. Uh, haven't found any markings to really pin it down and identify, but I think I'll do some cleaning. But that handle is just, that handle's old, but it's in really good shape. So somebody treated this thing right. Um, looks like it hasn't been used all that much. Oh, 
we've got a little pipe vise. So these are good. I like to use these. I have an older one of these that I run for, um, I take the jaws out and it holds a, a billet for making ax handles. Uh, so that's a good little piece. And then we've got some miscellaneous um, wrenches and some screwdrivers and some stuff. Nothing that really stands out in there 100%. This, I don't know, that's pushing three eighths of an inch. Old uh, Farrier's Rasp. So that'd make a good like Bowie knife, I think. Some sort of a chopper. That's, that's a heavy piece of steel right there. So, all right, so moving on. I think the piece that I'm going to select as my, my uh, vintage tool relocation program tool of the month is going to be, I think we're going to go after this guy right here, this Woodings Verona, uh, two and a half pound house axe. So if you guys haven't seen this ax, I did a video with this ax. Uh, so a basic uh, beginner's restoration. So it's the original Woodings Brona handle. Um, the head's in great shape. The eye was a little bit loose, so I, I tightened it up. Um, and like I said, you can, you can check out the video. You can see what I did to this ax. You can see the condition that it was in before, uh, before it is now. So. Yeah, this is just, it's an all around good user. And, you know, you could put it on a, you know, 28 inch handle and turn it into a pretty good little chopper, actually. It's got that V profile. So it's not a high center line ax. Um, although you could still fell a tree with it, it's, it's just a really good chopper. So, yeah, this is a piece that I'm gonna do the giveaway with. So, um, let me know. What you guys think, if you think that this is a, a good little good little program, a good little project to do. And, and if, if you guys want to be a part of it, and if we should do it again, um, I'd, be, I'd be interested in doing it once a month. So as you can see, I, I have no shortage of vintage tools. And, um, and I'm all about, number one, saving these vintage tools from yard sales, garage sales, estate sales. A lot of the times when somebody's moving or somebody died, um, whatever's left over at these garage sales, they take it to the dump. Um, they throw it away. So they're just trying to get rid of it. So I get out there and I collect these things up and, and I like to see them get reused, um, get, uh, repurposed, whatever it may be, save them. They're not making these old tools anymore. You know, China, China's making this stuff. Um, and, and I think it's important to, to save them, save them, get them out into other people's hands and use them. It's good steel. A lot of the time it's great steel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and, and like I said, leave a comment, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.